welcome back so now the next thing is for us to put in our test key the public key then the test callback url back into our, our laravel application so if you have signed up to the test stack so all you do is to go to your test key and copy and hit this and copy and paste it once you hit this you're going to, going to generate um, a random number then you put it exactly where it should be in our the tng file it was just shown here that we have to paste our public key here so you're going to copy the whole of this and paste it in your um, dot ng file now inside the dot ng file that we have here dot env that we have here once you open it you're going to paste what you have here then you are going to replace this uh, payment public key you're going to replace the public key here and the secret key here with the corresponding value that you have in your um, pay stack information so we have the secret key we have the public key so you are going to copy each of them and replace them now the test back the test callback URL is very very important because when you are de de uh, developing your application after the payment has been uh, performed maybe transaction has been performed on the on your application and you want the uh, the gateway to return the response the response of the transaction to your page you're going to specify the url of your page here so that's why you have uh, this one could be maybe my mtn dot uh, dot com slash a page on your application where you want the response to go so you are going to specify such uh, the route or the url here so that's the essence of this callback it's very essential especially if you want to log the payments into your application you want when the payment is coming back you want it to go to the database you want to capture the uh, some information now let's go back to the application have uh, copy and have paste uh, the information that are necessary now let's follow the guides as we are told from here i want to close some information that are not necessary here now let's let's come to uh, this place so we are told about the callback the payment callback which is necessary for us to capture what we need so we have the web hook test and things like that so now look at this for laravel 5.1 and above so we can make use of this or this now this this or this and our callback is going to be this now all when we have laravel that is less than 5.1 we can make use of this so let's quickly uh create a payment controller we can override their conformation by replacing this with our own um uh, uh controller but let's create the payment controller as it is being created here so i'm going to create payment controller so inside our current controller we have a redirect gate so this this takes our information to where it should go so now let's let's go to uh, our route we are going to create this route let's copy and paste the route in our our web.php that's where our route is so we have our route here so i have web i have my my web.php i have my route that is the name of the route is p the p route so anytime i call it i call the route url this is the name anytime i call slash p to come to this route then it will look for this controller so the next thing to do is to create this controller i, I hope you know how to create controller php artisan make what do you want to make controller controller so I'm making a controller with the name payment controller so once you do that the controller has been made so let's check our controller folder 
can see so we have the payment controller already made for us now uh, take note that in this application i'm not uh, treating in, um, authentication authentication is another thing entirely we might have to take time and see how this should be handled maybe in another tutorial so but now we're just focusing on getting our payment ready on our applic application now we we are done and we have a whole lot of things that can be added among them is this uh, pay stack we have to use this as one of the uh, the requirement like a namespace so we are going to use our pay stack on our application use pay stack because it's already available as a package for us so we want to make use of it so um, if all these are not available you can uh, make sure they are available in your application and if they are available you don't need to make replica like this is already telling us that it's, it's available already so you don't bother yourself with what is not available so now let's come to the app, uh, our controller that we just created and look at this controller is, is extending the controller that is the base class controller so that it can perform the function of controller there are resources that are available in this controller so that's this the class is inheriting now inside our controller we have um, these two functions so I'm going to copy them and I'm going to be pasting them here so I'll paste them now look at this look at this the first one is redirect to gate that is this one takes all the information that the the payment information that the uh, the user supplies and take it to the gateway that is why it is redirecting to the gateway what do i mean by that look at this controller it's redirecting to get that is when uh, a transaction hits payment controller direct uh, redirect to git which is a function so let's copy this uh, part so that the application can understand where to find our payment controller so once the application hits this controller which is the application controller it goes directly to the redirect to git then all your payments all the payment information will be captured and will be redirected in this try block we have the try and catch block so it will be redirected to the gate so and if there are any error or something then error will be thrown so we have exception error there that will be thrown if there is any issue so that that's just it about uh, redirecting to gate then the second one is handle the callback now if you look at the instruction given to us here eh, we are asked to uh, the other things that you can get you can get the authorized url you can get uh, authorized URL, get payment data get payment uh, uh, payment data get all customer get all customer these are things that you can use to track your transaction what has happened what uh, not happened so now look at our route again i want us to pay attention to the route again now in our callback function look at the callback function this is the callback is also going straight to the payment controller and inside payment controller is going to the handle gate with callback so now look at this uh, in our route we are going to paste the callback function callback route here so the callback route comes to payment controller so what i will do is to copy the path and paste it here so my payment app http controller payment controller which is the same thing as a controller but different method so the second method is handling gateway callback so that after your payment has been done or transaction whether failed or successful it will call back the response of the transaction will come call to this um, function it will come and check your your route and look for this function in the payment controller so if the function is there in the payment controller then it's going to tell you okay uh, the instance of the class pay stack get payment details so inside our stack we have 
a method that is getting payment uh, detail so the object of it if you echo it, this method means you are displaying you are echoing the content the content of this so once you echo it it's going to display all the content here is where we can track the our information you can see okay as it really is the transaction successful or not is, is, the, is the person paid exact amount that we want the person to pay so that can also be done that's why in our in our pay stack um, our setup we have to set up our url if you want to seven dots because i'm using a local host i'm specifying one to seven dot zero dot zero dot one uh, column 8000 slash payments like cost callback that is the name of the payment that callback this is the name that is the url of my local on my local machine that is I'm, I'm i'm referencing this because if you call this in my if you call this in my local machine for example let's say this instead of having dot index if you paste this here uh, let's remove one slash so if you paste this here the system will hit can you see it's trying to get the response there's a bad response it's trying to get the status the first message transaction id from the case because there's no transaction yet that's why it's returning this type of error so i hope this is clear enough so we're going to be setting up our form in the next tutorial so the next thing that we're going to be done that we're going to be doing is the form that would be referencing this page so our form will call this page and send all the information through this gateway and send it to this uh, method this method sends it to the gateway then the response comes through this uh, pay payment callback and hits this uh, our application the, the details and with some information so in the next video we're going to be setting up our form and see how we can perform our transaction thank you for watching